How you been? I've been good, man. Just uh, defense, no, they had pro football focus had them. Number, they had the number one secondary, the number one defensive line. They got Quentin Williams and they got their Sauce Gardner. So I see y'all. I see y'all talking about um talking about football, man. But I I can't even get over the the Olympics, man. I've been, you know, I yeah. had so many mixed emotions thinking that. about that that Olympics, man. Yeah, cause remember you still got linebackers too, so they probably you know what I'm saying linebackers ain't they are. I see they mostly good, but. I don't know. Oh yeah, but you said the Olympics here, Curry and LeBron, Durant, Booker, and Booker had a couple good games too. I feel like I feel like off of what Steph Curry did, they should have gave him the MVP. I mean, I know Bron averaged 14, 7, and 9. I get it. I'm a I'm a Bron fan. But I just don't think that uh he was deserving of it. MVP after Steph after what Steph did in the semifinals and in the finals, but uh, you know they're, they're trying to make it a uh, like you know they wanted the award to be for uh, your overall performance, but this man went out. Y'all picked the best players. Y'all put the best team in the chalk of the symbols. Even though I don't know how Derek White. Made the team, but anyway, y'all picked yeah, the best. Yeah, Derrick Brown instead of Derrick White, but other than that, yeah, well, it's still, well, they still man. Well, I well I know well I know why Derrick Derek White made the team. Um, same reason that well Derrick White made the team. Never mind, I ain't gonna say that. I just I just know that they wanted they wanted rep, representation for all, and I think Derrick White, Jason Tatum, and Tyreek Halliburton were the closest they could get for all, but. Moving forward, uh, I know that Steph probably did. I mean, Steph was streaky the first six games, but when you find a guy that's like, hey, this is the best team that we could put together, and I'm going to go out here and have 40. Like, you know, you, Man, you, that's you not, have that's to. Not, that's not normal what he did. You have to be insane to just say, hey, look, bro. I got the best team that we can put together. I got the mind stars. I'm going out here and taking 20 right. shots tonight. And don't nobody say nothing. Right. You know. Um, it's crazy, bro. But the question that I wanted to pose to, to you is, um, you know, everybody's been saying it's a, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's almost like the end of an era with LeBron, KD, and stuff. Yeah. That's the last it's the last time we'll really see him. But from my, from your point of view, what's up, Cuzzo? From, from your point of view, who do you think will uh who do you think will kind of take over the reins after they leave? Like who will replace well nobody's gonna replace LeBron, but who will replace <laughs> KD and Steph? And, and it's, I really you could really say that nobody will replace Steph, but yeah, come on, KD. We're gonna... Yeah. Uh, uh I'm okay. thinking People don't exist. You gotta, you gotta transition to the ant, the ant man. I was about to say, uh, man. Yep. John Morant. You gotta bring Tatum back as an older guy, as the elder statesman, OG at that time. You gotta get Jalen Brown this time. You gotta hope that Zion is healthy. Man, got Luca. You still got Luca though. Luca ain't from America. At least I'm from America, my bad. Yeah. I, <laughs> I thought you were just talking about taking over the superstar, my bad. You talking about I thought you talking about the Olympics. No, I'm saying yeah, I'm but I'm saying who would take over. Even if okay, I, I'll give you that. So I'll put LeBron in the conversation. We just talking about the next three big superstars. So yeah, that's what I'll give you Ant Man and SGA. SGA. Yeah. He's about he should he he almost won the MVP this year. No man who playing MVP level basketball can't be in the conversation. That's crazy. Why oh, we never put Jokic in that conversation? And, and what? That's what? <laughs> no, right. he's still been in the air, but I, I see what you're saying. Right. Yeah, he, he could be. He, he up there. Yeah, I, I know. I know. He was center. That's why I didn't really. Because he said, I don't know. No, no, it's not. Like it's not I'm thinking it's first for the score, basically. Number one, it's hard for centers to be be loved. Yeah, it's very unless hard. Unless you, unless you shot, you know. Yes. 
You know, you have and to be like Jack had, the, Jack had to break things and do all kind of stuff. But King was going out there putting up thirty, and they still was like, "Yeah, we, <laughs> we." <laughs> like Dave Robinson had a quadruple double, and he scored seventy, and don't nobody talk about it. Ever, we don't ever, we don't. We, <laughs> nobody. Well, <laughs> well, I'll say this though. David Robinson kind of got shot in the foot because his teammate was Tim Duncan. So it's going to be hard for us to talk about David Robinson yeah. Yeah. and your teammate, this, Tim this, Duncan. This quadruple double and 70 and MVP, this pre Timmy D. Huh? That's before Tim Duncan was in middle school when that was happening. I know, but it's like, I, 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 I understand. Um, what, what was it about SGA that I didn't, well, I don't know why I put them up there because I think I just took three. I took I took Ant Man, I took Luca. Oh, and I put Ja up there. I, I said that Ja, I put Ja in that in that conversation. You, That's you, why I didn't put you know, as as popularity and stuff and being like the face. That and I think me just me, I'll take I'll take Ja over over SGA. SG how many how many how many MVP votes Ja ever got in his life? SGA a dog, but they I think that they both they're both on the same level. They both are like superstars. They you know they they have a talent to where you can build a team around. But I still think it's a toss up. I don't think one person is. I don't think either of them have put you know have given themselves distance from the other person before Ja got in all the trouble. He. I don't know. He wasn't a finalist, but I think he had got NBA first team like his second or third year. How, but he was on many, the way. How many straight thirty point games SJ had to throw up last year in the row? Like at least twelve. <laughs> like <laughs> SGA was, and that's the thing, man. He put up the most, most average. 30, dog. Like, you look at his stat line, it's going to say 29, 28, 32, 31, 30, 37, 23. Like, all of that is going to be around. You ain't going to see no 50. You ain't going to see 41. No. You're going to see 29, 30, 31, 32, 28, 26, 34. Like, yeah, because he plays at a pace. It's not, it's a, it, it's, it's slower than Ant and Ja, but it's faster than Jalen. It's a weird, Thanks. What was the situation? And I, I guess I could ask you, what was the situation, or from from what you heard, with uh, with Jamal Murray? He didn't have a good uh Olympics, from what I heard. Um, I read that he had some issues in the locker room, even with his countrymen. Dang. So I don't know, man. But, oh, that sounds like he uh, won it one way, but SGA was like, "No, nah, this one another way, dog." I mean. But I'm gonna tell you what, this is what separates a human like Steph Curry from regular guard. Because almost all of the gu the guards, these dogs that they supposed to be point guards by position, if you move the ball out of their hands, almost all of them are useless. Damian Lillard. Yes. Ooh, I don't know. I like that comment. I don't think Damien. They ain't pass the ball and stand there. He creates nothing else. He can catch a shoot, but he don't create no havoc on the backside. He's not setting no screens. He's not doing anything else to disrupt the defense once he gives the ball up. The only thing that's disrupt the only reason why stuff doing that is is because people gotta respect the shot. But he no, can no, do the same thing It's not just the, it's not just the shot because no, Damien shoot around. he's moving. He, He's relocating. He's setting back screens. He's doing all type of stuff. People can't play off the ball. So when you get when you get Jamal Murray and and he can't run pick and roll no more because SJ having a high usage rate even in the Olympics, then he like, what do I do? Because I looked at the stats. I mean, I was just looking at the stats, and before the Olympics, I kind of took what they did in the Euro as opposed to what they do, I mean, you know, what they do oh, for the oh, Olympics. Oh. If you if you averaging over 19 points a game, you're a superstar in Europe. Oh. 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 Oh.